Hello from Barambang, Cambodia. Sounds funny to say. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so in the last couple of weeks, I have completely gotten off my exercise routine um, from leaving Hoi An and having lots of uh, celebrations <laughs> and to going to Siem Reap and seeing the temples. Um, whoop, I don't know what, it's making noise. <laughs> um, and then just moving around, trying to find hotels, that kind of thing. It just got completely out of the rhythm. So, um, one, I had a personal training client this morning, and I usually just put on, you know, my pajamas basically. <laughs> and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna warm up with her. I'm gonna put on my fitness gear and just start moving the body. My back is really hurting. I've been lugging around a suitcase that is way too big. I really need to bring less clothes next time. Um, but after I, after I trained her, then I was like, okay, I'm ready to go. I should do some movement. I really had no interest in doing squats or lunges or push-ups or anything, uh, anything that seemed like it was going to be too hard. <laughs> so, and I'm sure you guys can relate. So I literally laid down on my hotel bed and I started doing some Pilates because I didn't want to lay on the hard floor. And so I started doing some bridges to stretch my back out. I started doing just some stretches. I started doing some abdominal exercises. And then I felt like, okay, maybe I wanna do a plank and some down dogs. So then I came onto the floor. And then that kind of turned itself into a yoga workout. Really light, I mean, it probably, I probably did 20 minutes of movement. My back already feels so much better. And it's just, wanted to share and kind of hope to inspire you that if you've gotten out of your rhythm of exercise that it doesn't mean you need to go jump back into your spin class or your orange theory workout and be super aggressive with it i was listening to a podcast um, about sleep actually hey sarah speaking of yoga look at you popping on right when i'm talking about yoga um in this podcast this um sean stevenson who i've just discovered i'm going to start following he said that just moving your body, didn't even call it exercise, right? Just moving your body helps to increase our nutrient uptake, right? Which we wanna eat healthy food, we eat all this healthy food and we're hoping that these vitamins and minerals get into our body. Um, and so moving the body literally is helping that digestion process and it also helps with elimination and being a traveler, uh, you know, it's important to, to keep things moving, at, no matter what you are, traveler or not. Um, so just those basic two of thinking, like yes, move, our bodies are designed to move, and it's going to help in these other processes of health. And so really, it was just that little click that said, okay, you need to start moving your body again. And that's when I started um, my very mellow, and it wasn't even a routine. So I. You know, if you don't have, I mean, obviously I have a repertoire of exercises, maybe more than most, and I'm pretty comfortable with yoga, so I can just kind of do whatever comes to mind. But there's all sorts of videos on, on YouTube, you know, that you could, you could just do something, maybe even it's just a stretch routine. I also have been on my weekly newsletters giving a weekly circuit, and I just do four exercises, and there's a little GIF video of me doing them. And so you could save those and archive those and you know use those as reminders for exercises to do. So that is all. Put in the comments what exercise you have done today or if you haven't, if you're planning to for the rest of the day or tomorrow. And I hope you have a wonderful day.